Well, this is where they get really co complicated. This guy was as hard a one as we saw in the first class. And he's nothing. He's the easiest, one of the easiest ones you're going to see. Because you know what? Instead of asking you for moles, what could I have asked you for? Grams. I could have asked you for mass or atoms or molecules. Instead of giving you moles, what could I have given you? Grams or atoms or molecules or anything. So you would have had to have done multiple conversions as you were about to see with my next examples. Copy this guy down. Notice what's different about this one. It says how many grams. of hydrogen are produced in the reaction of 2.10 moles of sodium with water. You see, moles I have to use because the coefficients in the equation, those are mole ratios. That's what those coefficients tell you. But it's not always convenient to think, to think in moles. It's a lot more convenient to think in terms of grams. You never bought a pill. You never had to be given a dose of medicine that was in moles. Your doctor has to convert that or your pharmacist has to convert the amount that he wants you to get into how many grams or milligrams of this substance you're going to be taking, this pill you're going to take, or how many milliliters. So there's a ton of different ways you could be given a, uh, an injection in milliliters and a concentration, and you could be given a pill to take and how many milligrams of it is that active ingredient. All of that stuff we almost we never see, never, on our pills or on our medicines do we see stuff in moles. It's always got to be converted to grams or milliliters, and that's what I'm going to show you how to do over the rest of this chapter. And that's what makes this a lot more, hard, more difficult. All right, but let me start out the same way I did before. I'm going to break these down into multiple steps. I can't say exactly how many steps it takes each time because it depends on the problem. Different ones are going to take more steps. Other ones will take the min bare minimum you're going to have to do. What could tell me the bare minimum? Bare minimum you're going to have to do. Write the equation down, right? That's the first step. Secondly, write the given information down. And then make at least one conversion. So there's a bare minimum of three steps, but it could be many more than that. All right, let's start with the first one. I'll use black this time. I'll go black, red, blue, so I can see them better. All right? Tell me. Read those words up there. First time I read it, all I care about is the equation. What words tell me about the equation in this problem? The bare minimum words that tell me what I need to know to write the correct equation down. What do you think? Yeah. Sodium with water. Okay, Rea I, I, I'll put the word reaction there. Reaction of sodium with water. That's correct. Reaction of sodium with water. Okay? What are you going to write down? What am I going to write down word wise? All right here. Anybody? What will you write down? It tells you what to write. But notice it's an amazing thing. Well, it should be like, bam! Everybody should be yelling out the answer, but you're not because I didn't actually say it. What does reaction of sodium with water mean? I'm going to write down right here. Sodium plus water. Now, look at your common ion sheet and see what that gives you. Sodium plus water yield. Look at the common ion sheet. And here, this is the first step, and yet it was the entire test you just took. One of the reasons why that test had such a high average. Sodium plus water yields what, Hannah? Well, let's narrow it down. What type of reaction is it? Replacement. replacement. Is it replacement number one? Replacement of a metal by a more active metal? No. Two. Yeah, water's in there. Do you see? Under 2, is it 2A, 2B, or 2C? A. Yeah. So what does sodium plus water give me? Sodium hydroxide. Uh-huh. Sodium hydroxide plus hydrogen. hydrogen. Exactly. Now, you notice, people, if I look at it like this, it takes away the mistakes I'm going to see. Like, for example... Sodium plus water yields sodium water. Or sodium plus water yields just hydrogen because that's the only other word up there. 
Nowhere does it tell you in the problem that sodium hydroxide is made, but it is. You don't have to be told it because it's asking me about hydrogen. All right, let's finish this guy up. Balance him. Sodium. Na. Water. H2O. Na plus 1. OH minus 1. And hydrogen is diatomic, so he's H2. Same stuff we've been doing all before Christmas. Tougher one to balance. I have an odd number of H's on the right-hand side, and I can make them even by putting a 2 right there. Once I do that, it's pretty easy to balance the rest. What will you need? Well, I got two NA's, so I'll need a two there. I got two O's, so I'll need a two there. I can be four hydrogens, two there, and two there is four hydrogens. Okay. First step and first step only. Second step, I'm going to use red. I look back at the problem and I reread it. So I'm not like the lady looking for the purple aliens. I look back at the problem. That was from the knee. Um, what do I circle this time? What do I going to circle to start me off on my conversions? Look carefully. Uh, what do you think? Come. 2.1 moles of sodium is what I'm given. Exactly. Now, some people are confused by the fact that it says, well, does that mean 2.1 moles of sodium and the water combined? Let everybody look here because I'm going to get this question and I know I'm going to get it. Does that mean 2.1 moles of sodium and water? Because it says 2.1 moles of sodium with water. You're not reading for content here. You're not using your English skills. This is worded this way, but I could have worded it differently. 2.1 moles of sodium react with some other amount of water that I am not being told in this problem. That's another way I could have said it, but I didn't say it that way. I didn't say it that way because that would be blatantly obvious, and nobody talks like that, too. Okay? 2.1 moles of sodium is reacting with water. It's not 2.1 moles of sodium water, which, again, people like to write down. I'm telling you these mistakes ahead of time because I know I'll see them. It's just 2.10 moles of Na, and only Na. Because that's what it says I have, 2.1 moles of sodium, reacting with water. Okay, good. I know what to do. I'm going to begin my conversions. Gary, what units are going to have to go on the bottom here? Moles of Na, because it has to cancel. Correct. And what's going to have to go on top? What's going to have to go on top, unit-wise? What do you think? Anybody? We've done this before. We've done it several times before. What's going to go on top? Uh, no. No. I knew I'd get you all at this one. On purpose. That's why I was waiting for someone to volunteer. Jackson. Don't put numbers in. No numbers, just units. Moles of hydrogen. Moles of hydrogen. Now hold on a second. When I look back up the next time, I'm going to use blue this time. Okay? The question says it wants how many grams of hydrogen. So I look up that third time. I know it wants hydrogen. Why don't I put grams there? Now you need to listen to this. Because I did say it. Matter of fact, I can rewind it and show it from the previous class just a few minutes ago. I said every single time you do this problem, these problems, you will have to have moles of what you have to moles of what you're looking for. You cannot go. There is no relationship between the moles of sodium and the grams of hydrogen. None. These coefficients do not say the relationship between moles and grams. They say only the mole relationship. In other words, let me show you again. Two moles of sodium is to two moles of water, is to two moles of sodium hydroxide, is to one mole of all moles, none of them are grams. So you have to go moles to moles first. And then, when you get that answer, you have to go from moles to grams. You have to do them separately. Because the moles to moles is the ratio. That's what you're talking about. That's what those coefficients are. So what's the coefficient of H2? A 1. And the coefficient of the Na is a 2. This actually should have been in blue as well. Moles of H2 because that's where I made that switch, looking up again. So, good. I wanted to get that mistake, and I got it. All right. Now, don't hit equals. Don't hit equals, because we can just continue, can't we? 
I now have moles of hydrogen, and what can I do, Michael? You can go right to grams. Exactly. I can convert my moles of hydrogen to grams of hydrogen. And that's the last time you look up there. I don't have enough amount of colors, but that's how when you look up for grams. All right. But if I use green, you can't really see it. And you fill him in with. Now, oh, I love this one. What goes next to moles of hydrogen? What goes next to moles of hydrogen? One. Why does the one go next to there? Is it because its coefficient is a one? No. It's because when you convert from moles to grams, you always put a one, right? How many grams are in that guy? Two H's, right? So that would be 2 times 1.0079, which would be 2.0, basically 2.016. Because that would be 1.08. Uh-oh. Yeah, that's right. All right, do your uh, math for that, and tell me what you got. Yeah, they're right all actually, everything you need should be on that card. Get, do that calculation, see what you get. Is that pretty much everything? Yeah, I'm gonna do the lab tomorrow to grab some of the ones for the rest of the demos. Okay. Who's got an answer for that? What do you get? 2.12 grams of H2. Sound good there, buddy? 2.12 grams of H2. A lot of twos in there. 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, H2, 2, 2, 2. Wow, that's freaky. Okay, good. Can you see, feel, no, can you feel? The I hate that song. Why did that come to my mind? Uh, I'm going to skip this one. I'm going to go right to, call this example five in your notes. All right. All right, you know what? No, I'm going to skip them both. Okay. Skip them both. Sounds good. Because I want to give you more time to work on that worksheet. Um, we'll, do, we'll start off tomorrow with these, but you've had plenty of examples over the course of today to be able to do these. Take